Last time on Final Fantasy 16, we took on Barnabas and lost. But in return, we got some of Shiva's power. Now that we're back in the hideway, planning our final fight against Willow. We have side quests. So many side quests. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his mortal coil. Contrary to what the mad madding crowd believes, we physicists are not without limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill, mend every wound, save every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing sound down some behemoth for its toenails. Very true. Captain Doris. Sir, I and the other curse wreckers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If there's not too much trouble, I would ask you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Self-determination. Question is, where is that one? Oh, it's right there. Okay. It's on the way. What's the better involves a hunt? You said. Well, I'm looking for I'm your looking boss. For Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. Oh, well, we're going to go there actually. anyway. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. Bandicoot? The slave of Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. Oh. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Oh, we'll Would find Doris out. Doris insist on going alone. Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Hey, Nectar, do you have any more hunts for me? Goodbye. No new hunts, just the dragon. Oh uh, god, what now, August? Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out Aoife like no one's business. Oh! And the village? Aoife flood. Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turn in, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. And that's where we I come in. that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? Of course we're going to do it. I thought it might be better if he didn't. The big plus symbol something means something we get stupid. something cool out of it. You reckon we should tell him? No. Yeah. It's yeah. better this way. No, he's yeah. we've bothered him three times already. I Leave can't him out about of it. knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Travosht. Yeah, we'll get you over. Blacksmith Blues 4, and here I was thinking I was done with the Blacksmith Blues. I could go see Joshua in the infirmary, but that sounds like we'd be continuing the story, and we don't want to do that right now. Uh, that's going to be in Mid's lab. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. Ah, the own engineer. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Mm. Don't tell me. A massage? Yes. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. 
This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification. Now and you're just using big words to try and impress you. Regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mythical engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help Something me about his voice just makes, and the way he phrases words just makes me. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Real weird about this. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of Forgotten examples tip. here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Or fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, oh, is that watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. Just find a few forgotten. So That's to visit no some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah, we're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume. And another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It sounds all good and well for getting one smell up and running, but what if you need more? Crossed. What if you want to mass produce this? Okay. So we have our goals. How was she? And we also have quests all over the world. So I think we are going to start uh, with Gravosh. See all those green markers? So many things to do and see. So Dravosh is still standing. For now at least. Yeah, for now. Hey, August, Clive. let's get to it. You're here. And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we you need mean it. the same guy that led us through the gate? Because we told him to piss off? Least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have of thought that did. the savior of Drabozd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? August he can't pick his again? tongue to save his life. I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Sort of, yeah. Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? How about Not a week? enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. <sighs> I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. <sighs> Vulcan. So how much more of the story do you have, the Black Horn. to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. 
Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. I have on black one side here, mostly because so I wouldn't want to be anyway. leader either. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. There you go, you've had your mouth. You, uh, ready for the off then? Yes, let's we go can't take afford down to waste the Akashic. Time. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford, you and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the. Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls, and there are more coming up from the mines. Okay, here we what go. Was saying about nasty surprises. They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. How high of a rank do you have, August? So you can just easily command it like this. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if Which kill means you, we're about to kill them. You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good yeah. care of Dravoj till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's a uh, Kashik Oros. All right. Which one of you's first? Well, we're gonna start with this. Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? Well done. I can't get this timing right. Maybe we'll have to be enough. There we go. Okay. Let's do this now. Yep, there we go. Much better. Nope. Ooh, that was close though. Diamond dust. Oh wow, that does a lot of break damage. More than I was expecting. What's next? Some plants! Unfortunately, this is not fire, it's just light. Which means it's not super effective. Not that super effectiveness is even a thing. Enough. 
have one down. Oh, Coach has even been But I did expect that. Just the one and a catch of Griffin. There we go. Much better. Nope, not good enough. Come on, one more bar. There we go. Diamond dust. Get with that bar. Oh, we crap that does a lot. I think Grind might not be the best move, but that Diamond Dust is insane. Done. And Dravosh just saved, just like that. Is that it? No, it's not. There's gonna be more. Hold it. Oh, a Chimera? Oh shit. That's not a Kashyyyk. Not getting past me. Come on now. Oh, okay, cool. So that doesn't count as a uh, uh, quick dodge, like perfect dodge, but if he goes into the thrust path that I make, if I time it just right, he gets uh, stuck. Here we go. Diamond Dust. Open Fury. Flare Breath. And then just when it's about to end, Giga Flare. It's not going to be enough, he's going to get out of the charge, yeah. But that's decent damage. And now we just slowly repeat. Completely screwed that up. Yeah, no. I know what Ram's voice is. I played 16. Oh, get in. Oh, you're just gonna be real nasty thing now. Huh? Yeah. Guess what? Diamond us. Too late, but that's alright. Time still slows down, he's still taking a lot of damage. Really? I'm just curious, because this is doing frostbite, but how do I get into perma? Come on, 
just die already. Okay, so in this game, Dragon's voice isn't completely... Uh, I, there is areas outside of the inner ring that are safe. Okay, good to know if we ever fight one of these again. Nope, no level up. That's okay. Goodbye, Chimera. Oh, the question is... Let us never meet again. Did I miss any? That guy wasn't even patched. Man alive! You're still in one piece! Yeah, I am. I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like Order. it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Oh, you do know. More will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get the you back inside. The world is in. The world is in. Yeah, nothing's safe forever. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. Eh, uh, done that, that Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly... I, I mean, you kind of should grateful. feel sorry for them, but... Dravos won't forget yeah. what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With either flood springing yeah, up, yeah, just over, got this place up and running it's again. It's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right, then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made yeah, everything it's look a so easy for me. It was anything but... You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. This is just getting to cliche territory. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. Capitalism at work. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. We, we need demand those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let him down. Uh, fair enough. Thank you, Blackthorn. But that doesn't mean I couldn't There's no way we'll let you come leave us. Let's so. see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, 
he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Oh, we're getting the upgrade from you? Oh, the crack se the seal of Dane, cracked anvil. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. Uh, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorged in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> Is it gonna be the ultimate blade? Like the... You know what? Weapon. I think you might be right. I'm guessing it is, which means it's probably going to be hard to make. You wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Eidaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. I guess we will go back to finish off that quest. Probably not next time, but eventually we'll get there. Next time on Final Fantasy 16, I am probably heading for the uh, that one there, even with the science. See you then.